One, two, three, four, five, six. We are good. Hello, my name is Laura. Good morning. And I'm here today. I'm going to talk about the greatest gift Indus gave to India, yoga. Yoga is an ancient tradition in India culture and remains a popular practice in contemporary India. To show you how yoga is still popular in India, that's a picture from the Guinness World Record website where they show that in 2018 more than 100,000 Indians attended a yoga class in Kota City to celebrate the World Yoga Day. In that day, they set the world record for the largest yoga class. But what is behind the word yoga? What are the rules and the parts of yoga? What are the goals that they are trying to achieve? So, the word yoga, we have a good explanation by Suzanne Nencom, wrote an article named The Revival of Yoga in India in contemporary India for the Oxford Research Encyclopedic Religion. In that article, she explained that yoga is a Hindu philosophy that contains a set of beliefs and practices. It is the union of the soul with the divine and the liberation of the material world. It is the sense of the Indian spirituality. So, all philosophy has its rules, and yoga also has their own rules. They are also simple but important. Ajali Hajpuj explained the essential rules of yoga in her article, named Before Doing Yoga, Know These 10 Essential Rules to Harm, that she wrote for the Indian website Puji Kesari in June 2018 and she explained some of these rules are that you must do yoga between sunrise and sunset but the best time to do yoga is in the morning so you can get more benefits of the yoga the best place to do is outside with fresh air and you must wear any clothes that you want but must be comfortable clothes and you must be older than three years old. So you can start early. <laughs> After following all these basic rules, it's time to practice yoga. The director of National Institute of Yoga, Ishawar Desai, wrote an article, Yoga Relevance History and Development to the Ministry of External Affairs in India website. In this article, he explained that yoga practice has two, four important parts. One is the karma yoga. It's where they use that body, the body. The other one is the paki yoga, where they use the emotions. The kayan yoga is where they use the mind and the intellect. And the kriya yoga, where they use all the energy. But what are they trying to achieve when they practice all these four parts of yoga. In the article, The Meaning and Purpose of Yoga, from the website, Hindu's website, they explain that when India yoga, practice yoga, they purify the mind and the body, and they gain control of their emotions. I will read a quote from this article that shows the benefits of yoga. The practice of yoga leads to mental stability, equanimity, concentration, meditation, good health, supernatural powers, devotion, self-transformation, and liberation. My conclusion, my conclusion is, an ancient, is that yoga is an ancient tradition in Indian culture and reminds a popular practice because it's more than an exercise and a relaxation moment. It's a philosophy of life, where the Indians can unify the soul with the divine by practicing four parts of yoga. 
I believe that yoga will continue to be one, one of the most traditional in Asia and a great gift for the world.